thank you, Ember. <laughs> thank you, Ember Rose. <laughs> thank you, Edward. Yes, I was. See what happens when I just I take a little too much time away from you guys, and this is what happens. I'll do it again. Hi, <laughs> I'm Fenico. I'm the community manager here at Ultima Online, and uh, we're here to stream the Atlantic EM event. And we're gonna have a great time, as we always do. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you're unfamiliar what an EM event is, come on down to uh, Atlantic and come see for yourself. Otherwise, just watch the stream and you'll get to see these are absolutely amazing so much fun and i just wanted to let you know that this is something that is unique to us here at ultima online so let's get started here we've got this snazzy dresser here called calico ransom the buccaneer look at that snazzy outfit wow that's a snazzy outfit like i'm i'm just saying that is a really Sanazi outfit. Honestly. I I I like it though. It's nice. It's got some pretty blues. It's got some pretty blues. I just wanted to remind everybody that if you do have something that you would like to tell me, please do so here in the stream uh here on Twitch. Let's uh, not disrupt the EM event so that we can allow our gracious EMs to kind of tell their story and uh, let them do what they do best and let us have some fun, huh? Um, oh, Yamamara says, apologies. There seems to be some technical difficulties on our end. Thank you for your patience. It happens. Look it, look it. Prime example. I was muted for the beginning. It's one of those days, let me tell you. So while we're waiting on our EMs right now, how have you all been? Hopefully you all have been amazing. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. Thank you so much again for joining me today. I, I appreciate you being here. I sincerely do. So thank you. I know the weather has been crazy all over. Hopefully you're being safe and, and happy and keeping cool in this summer heat. It's all over. It's just crazy hot everywhere, and I don't know what's going on, but you know what? Mother Nature's not happy. I'm just saying it. Mother Nature's not happy. How am I doing? Well, thank you so much for asking, Edward. I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing amazing. I have a smile on my face, and everything's wonderful. What can I say? Life is grand, and I love it. Life is absolutely grand. Oh, uh, they are just letting us know for those not in the AEM event channel. Um, we are experiencing some te technical difficulties, so we're just going to wait patiently. It's all good. It's all good. We're all just going to nice wait patient and let it go because things happen and it's okay. I know I didn't touch anything. I swear I didn't touch anything this time. I stayed away. I didn't touch anything. <laughs> it's all good. Big love to our EMs. It's all good. Oh no, they forgot box traps. I'm lucky this time. <laughs> oh, I love it. Have you tried turning the pirate off and on again? <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what we're trying. You know, sometimes that's all it needs. <laughs> Unplug it and replug it back in, right? <laughs> he is bright enough to be a nightlight. He is bright enough to be a nightlight. You could find that in the dark, let me tell you. You could definitely find that in the dark. <laughs> Lots of fun. Lots of fun. So what have you all been up to? I'm, I'm eager to hear what everyone's been up to for the past month. And it's crazy to say a month that it's been that long, but it really has. It, it always feels either too short or too long that I've been away from, from streaming to you guys. And yeah, 
I just, I love you guys so much. Okay, okay. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I have a joke. I have a joke. What did the egg say to the pavement? Come on now. Anybody guess? <laughs> you crack me up. <laughs> I lost the ears on that one. <laughs> I lost the ears on that one. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> More jokes like that. Um, uh, hmm. they're excellent. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Hmm. We got to think of more of these jokes. We got to think of more of these. More of these jokes. Yes, we need more jokes. We need more. Pirate's favorite letter. And I'll bet it isn't R. I bet it isn't R. It's the C. Yeah, I'll bet that's what it is. I've heard, I've heard both of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. The jokes. The jokes. Yep, the C. Yep. <laughs> we need more. We need more dad jokes. We need more dad jokes. <laughs> we do not discuss the cake of hams. There's a story to this, I'm sure. And and I <laughs> I would love to hear it. Oh, for without the P, they are just irate. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. I love it. <laughs> We need more jokes like this. We need more jokes like this. Um, let me think. Let me think of more. <laughs> We've tried to get help for the MMRs. <laughs> oh, we're going to hear a story about the ham cake. I'm excited. I'm excited. What is the story about the ham cake? Do, do you all know the story? Because I don't. I need to know. Do tell. Oh, there we go. If you see a cow laying in a field, does that mean it's pasture your bedtime? That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one, Edward. That's a good one. Oh, do not fall for it, fellow Fenico. Ham cake is love. Ham cake is life. All things are ham cake. Ham cake transcends all stories. Oh, goodness. I was going to say maybe Cognac should explain ham cake since he invented it. But that didn't explain anything. I'm more confused before. <laughs> I'm more confused than anything. And yes, it explained everything. I'm more confused than I was before. I'm more confused than I was before. 
But, you know, <laughs> that may be par for the course. It's really hard to explain. Cognac dropped ham on a cake, and now we are cursed forever in this horrible reality. What? I'm scared. All of this is scary now. What is going on? Ham cake. Okay. Actually, I think Ethan just explained it right there. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. They've manifested the ham cake a few times. I believe he now carries an ample supply of ham cakes. Okay. Well, you know, you know, because I love history. I love history. I will curse you now with knowing there was a bologna cake. Yes, a bologna cake. You can go ahead and look this up. There was a bologna cake. Yeah, it's just as disgusting as it sounds. It really is. It really is. Do not recommend. Kind of snowballed into a whole thing. Ham cake elementals, ham cakes appearing at council meetings. That's disturbing. I'm afraid. I'm, I'm very afraid. <laughs> My goodness. Um, he shall return in just a moment. Let's find out what he wants. And off Amaris goes. So let's see what this pirate wants. Because this, this could be interesting. What does the pirate want? Ham cake is broken behind the barriers of mere three tier cakes. It has four tiers. That's scary. Sorry about that. Let's try again. The fourth tier is only theoretical. We have yet to discover it. Oh, goodness. Ahoy, mateys. Salutes formally. Yeah, it was the outfit. <laughs> That's a bright outfit. It confused, uh, it confused him. <laughs> Arr. That's how pirates say hello. Me name's Calico Ransom, and I be a buccaneer. Well, rather, I be one of the king's privateers, shrugs, grinning. Letters of mark be wonderful things. <laughs> okay. Anyways, seeing that ye landlubbers, hey, been battling rogues, or oh, the piratical fashion per persuasion. And that summer now be all official like I invite ye to a relaxin' beach party. <laughs> Did you read the name on Calico's short pants? No. Um since ye lovers numbers be so great, there be two locations for a party. We got games and boo booze, heaps of food and booze, spectacular ocean views, and did I mention the booze? Britannian booze makes for a marinade to keep the meats most succulent. Chef's kiss. I'm going to try and read his pants. Well, he's got deep sea sandals. A silken vest. Oh, interesting. Do you wish to follow to, to a glorious party, mateys? <laughs> Why do I get the feeling this is going to be way too much fun? Wonderful, wonderful. This way, lovers, this way. Okay. I suppose we're we're going. We're going. There's a lot of people here, so I'm going to stress it again. There's a lot of people, you know, things happen, you may lose connection when you when you go places. Just be aware it's okay. It's okay. It'll be okay. I promise. It'll be okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
What a party this be. Look at that. Do it even Johnny Depp's here. <laughs> wow. This is snazzy. Look at this. I love it. This is a great little party. Look at sandcastles. A sloppy sandcastle built by a drunk pirate. Buccaneer, here we be, lovers. Eat, drink, and be merry. Or married. No. Seeing as if ye be on fire isle, there be a chapel just north of us. Grins. Look at that. Extra crate ale for the pirate party. We got plenty of food to eat and hearty. Plenty of booze, too, so drink your fill. Uh... Find a nice spot to build a sandcastle. Search for shells. Start up one of the games. Relax on the warm sand and let your worries be whisked away on the sea breeze. Smell that salt air. <laughs> a pirate ice chest filled with ale. Nice, nice. Oh no, a poisonous sea snake. Run! Everybody, be careful! Sea snakes! That doesn't look good! Roast sea brine chicken. Ooh. Goodness, we're just going to kind of take a peek around. See what other nifty things we can find. A wood post. Oh, for horseshoes. Clever. It's a fine party. I love it. They're fine indeed. All right. So I'm just going to kind of park here. And we're just going to kind of chat away. And uh, take a look. Monsters at our beach party. Oh, no. Indeed. Oh, looks like it's got poison. So be careful. Hopefully you remembered your orange petals. Orange petals are wonderful for poison. They they don't always keep it like y you're not going to. It's not like you won't get poisoned if you have orange petals, but it will lessen the poison, the impact of the poison and the length of the poison, depending on the poison. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes, indeed. Be careful, everyone. That is a really cool looking chest, though. That is very bright. Very bright. Fun, 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 though. Who turned off the fire? Don't turn off the fire. Beach party bonfire. Love it. Beach party. So we're just going to sit and uh, we're going to chat a bit as we kind of have a little bit of fun here. Um, I will say a couple of things have changed a little bit with uh, the streaming and everything. M mainly one thing really has changed, I guess. Um, new microphone. Hopefully it sounds a million times better than what it has in the past. Um, I know in testing, uh, I had some people say that you could tell the difference, but it wasn't like the other mic was terrible. It just, you can tell the difference. It's it's worlds better now that the new, we have, I have the new microphone. And um, yeah, I have to admit, it's a Yeti. I love it, love it. It's a great microphone in my opinion. So very happy with it, uh, hopefully. You guys are getting some uh, relatively crystal clear sound. I'm not sure if that's, you know, all they promise, but, you know, uh, hey, I'll take it. Sound that is better than before would be just overall nice, I guess, right? Right. So, yeah, we're just kind of wandering the area 
kind of keeping an eye on chat, um, seeing what comes up, and, you know, kind of following along with the story. And it looks like the story is just basically a, a beach party that uh, pirates have, you know, created for everybody just to have a good time. Um, but it does seem that we have some sea snakes and stuff that have come along that threaten to ruin everyone's good time. So, um, <laughs> the ham and the cake are apart. <laughs> okay. Um, so, let's talk about EM events if you're new. Uh, EM events are something, as I said, that we here do at Ultima Online. It is very unique to us. Uh, each shard has their own EM or EMs, depending on what shard it is. And they do these special events twice a month. If you have more than one EM in your shard, you may see as many as four a month. Um, I do believe there are only two shards right now that have uh, multiple EMs, and that is Atlantic and Great Lakes. So those are the only shards at present time that I'm aware of that you would have more than one EM. But in short, what you have is these events that they come up with to do for the players. They come up with their stories. They come up with, you know, these, um, you know, monsters and everything. They come up with the deco. They, they design everything for the players so that everybody can have a great time and have fun. And that's what they do. And it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot to put into these EM events. So I've said it a million times. I'll say it a million more. Our EMs are absolute rock stars for doing this. And please, by all means, be sure to thank your EMs or the EM, you know, the events that you go to. Be sure to thank the EMs because they do work very, very hard to make this possible for the players. So, that being said, like, a, you know, have a fun with these because that's what they're there for. They're there for everybody to just have a great time. Um, as far as uh, EM events streaming, I do them uh, twice a month. Uh, today, obviously, is Atlantic. This is the first one, so don't worry, you didn't, miss, you didn't miss one for this month. The second one will be this Saturday, and it will be Oceania. So we are going clear across the pond here and uh, going to Oceania's event, which is uh, Australian time. So um, that's going to be at 9 p.m. Uh, Australia, Sydney time. But if you are here in the United States or you're going central um, mountain, all that, it's going to be 4 p.m. or 4 a.m. Pacific, 5 e a.m. Um, mountain, 6 a.m. Central and 7 a.m. Eastern stand, uh, daylight time. So. If you're willing to wake up early with me or you're up early on a Saturday, I'll be here streaming Oceania. But don't worry if you can't be here live. It will be uploaded to the YouTube channel as all the videos are once they are finished. So be sure to tune in for that or check out the YouTube channel. Um, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the follow button here. And uh, if you uh, are watching this on YouTube later on, you know, hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. Don't forget the little bell. All right. We still haven't gotten any news story. So we're still fighting these giant lobsters and um, all this stuff. So, uh, no, Bola, this is the official uh, Ultima Online, the one and only. Uh, yeah. This is the Ultima Online. Okay, we're still kind of taking down the lobster here. I'm going to kind of wander around just a little bit, see if there's anything else going on fire. 
uh, see if there's anything else going on elsewhere. It looks like we are just kind of in this area. I know um, what tends to happen is Atlantic, um, they tend to split people up into groups. So there's probably a group uh, on another beach somewhere that is doing you know, their part of the event. So if you're on Atlantic and you're not seeing what I'm seeing, it looks different, that is entirely possible. You may be on another spot that the EMs have designated um, for the event. So they do like to split the group up because Atlantic is a beast of a shard and there are so many people that, um, they, they do everyone this, this nice, you know, courtesy of splitting everybody up as much as they can so they can reduce how many, um, you know, how much lag and players there are in a single confined space. So that is what, that's what's going on right now. And it looks like they are still working on that lobster. We're just kind of chilling here, enjoying everything. And speaking of, do any of you have summer plans? Are there any summer plans that you guys are, you know, thinking about doing or anything like that? Is there anything exciting going on for you? You know, fun vacations planned. Uh, EMMR sits back and sips ale. Now this is a party. <laughs> I apologize. My pirate accent may not be the greatest. I try. Oh, you saw my fan art. It was wonderful. <laughs> it's so good. Yes, if you missed it, I was given an adorable piece of fan art. It was absolutely adorable. I love it. I love it so much. I absolutely love it. It, it, it definitely is easily, I mean, well, it's my only fan art right now, but <laughs> it's easily. Um, it's one of my favorites. I know him. He's my friend. Aw. So proud of him. Aw, you should be. They're amazing. Yes, I, I, it was, it was, I was flattered. I was flattered. I wasn't expecting it, so it was a nice surprise. Let's see. Still battling stuff over here yet. Do, 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 do. I do believe it said blue crab. Uh, let's see. Okay. Trying to keep up. That's the one thing that if you're having a problem, you know, seeing the, the chat and everything, which, by the way, we are in the Atlantic events. It's two words, um, chat channel. So... Be sure you're in there if you want to see what's going on. Um, it can get pretty chaotic to try and see everything, you know, all at once, especially when you have, you know, so many things just kind of flying up. And I'll, I'll move my journal so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It kind of just, it flies up so fast that it, it really is hard to to see everything that's going on. Um, so, and I try to, you know, 
focus on you know what's going on to to kind of get it out there but sometimes I miss things so if I do I do apologize you know please by all means you know say hey hey this is what they said um, but I try to I try to catch it but sometimes I'm just I'm just not quick enough We're still going after the blue crab. It's a nasty little blue crab, isn't it? Everybody's doing a great job, though. Very nice. Everybody's doing great. I'm just going to kind of move over here, maybe. Kind of out of everybody's way. Interesting. Yeah. These are always a lot of fun. Looks like everybody's just eating. I'm not sure if everybody's being pulled in or if everybody, if we just have a lot of um, close combat people. Uh, Oi, Poseidon's children progeny seem to hay their knickers in a right twist. I wonder what be causing that. Uh-oh. So Poseidon's children is mad. What did they do? What did they do? Oh, good question. Did, did they get an invite to the barbecue? Maybe that's why they're mad. They didn't get an invitation. To arms, ye lovers. Afore they ruin me party. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, like, I always, and I say this, I know I say this a lot, but I love looking at all the different armor choices and colors that people uh, use for their characters. I absolutely love it. Like some of the color choices are just, it's just like, I don't know. For some reason I sit there and I go, you know, I don't think I've ever seen that in, you know, an armor color before. Or, or, you know, I've never thought of that combination or I never thought about using that color on armor. It's crazy. It's crazy. You could do this forever and still be in awe. S yes, there are a lot of SOS bottles in, in the water. I'd be mad if there were that many SOS bottle bottles in there too. I would be too. Mm. To be fair. <laughs> Maybe the ham cakes <laughs> were tossed in the water. Oh, dear. See, moving away from some of the battle that's going on kind of helps a little bit so I can see what's, what's kind of scrolling up in the corner there. My money's on the mutation <laughs> from the old ham cakes. Okay. <laughs> Like I said, if you want to look at cursed cakes, bologna cake, that is a cursed cake. You know, they also used jello with bologna at one point, too, like ham and jello. Ugh, that's just gross. Gross. Why? Like, 
Jello like was like ev- in everything for a while. I'm not sure why, but Jello was like the thing for a while. And for anyone curious, it's a Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's just the plain Mountain Dew. <laughs> All right. Fight has moved a bit. So we're going to see where it moved to. Seems like everybody's kind of running around a little bit. <laughs> Ma'am Kate was banned on both facets. That's funny. Oh, there it is. Fighting is over here now. And if you're looking at where we are, the best way you can find us is if you go to, um, again, Atlantic Shard. You go to Britain, and then you go to the Counselor's Hall. That is right before the bridge to Castle Blackthorn. You should see a little gate. If you hop in there, it'll bring you right here. Well, at least to one of these two places. It might bring you to this side. I even bring you to another side. I'm not sure. Luck of the draw, I guess. You know, all this water and beach, it, it makes me want to go to the water park or the beach, or something like that. I mean, it is that time of the season, right? Or is it too early? You know, I never know. What is like water park like, you know, etiquette? Do you go in June? Or do you wait till July? I never know. It's been a long time since I've been to a water park, honestly. Grumbles about sand getting into the food. Oh dear. I know it's grilling season. Although, <laughs> in some places, it never ended. <laughs> How can something start if it never ends, right? I know there are some dedicated, you know, people who grill. It doesn't matter. Could be like 12 feet of snow. They're still out there. They've dug a tunnel straight to the grill, built an igloo around it. <laughs> but what's your go to beach party food? I'd love to know. I'd love to know that. You can either, if, if you're watching this live, you can let me know. You can send uh, a little message in the chat. Your, your, beach party food of choice or if you're watching this on YouTube put it in the comments what is your beach party food I would love to know and I've heard some wild foods sometimes like you you always hear of you know the typical hot dogs brats um hamburgers you know stuff like that but like I've heard some people say things like lasagna I never knew lasagna was like a beach party food, like a macaroni salad, potato salad, sure, sure, coleslaw, sure, sure, sure. And then you, you get things like, you know, lasagna, and it's just, oh, okay, I suppose. Who am I to judge? I, I can honestly say I've never had lasagna at the beach. I can honestly say that. I have never had lasagna at the beach. Oh, I should see if I can take a seat. There we go. Having a seat now. <laughs> Oh, 
Let's see. I'm gonna run through a little bit. Love the castle. I love the castle. I just love it. I think it's cute. Doop, doop. I'm assuming we're still talking about ham cake. That would be my assumption anyways. <laughs> was ham cake like a, like, was it like something that was like given away or something? Did they make like a ham cake and like give it like as, as like a, 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 a drop or something? I'm very curious now. I'm very curious. Um, he thinks the beasties be enraged by the trash and chemicals we flush out to sea, frowns. We mustn't be beating them back. We must be beating them back. Okay. Oh. Clean up the beach. We got to clean it up. Stop throwing garbage in there. We need more fishermen to, to pull out the boots and paintings and all that other good stuff. There are a lot of really nice paintings that you can get from, from the water too. From like the, um, <sighs> SOS bottles and stuff. More than not, I end up fishing up boots. Boots. A lot of them. A lot of boots. A lot of lightning, a lot of lightning I'm seeing. And poison, a lot of poison. My goodness. So I wonder if we tell them that we will clean up, we'll start fishing up all the boots and the paintings and all the garbage, if they'll let us have the party. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we need an audience to tell them that we will, we will clean it up. I would love to know who keeps throwing their boots in there though. Who does keep throwing their boots in the water? I'm not throwing boots away. I'm not throwing boots away. I don't know who's throwing boots away, but it's not me. Ah, mutated giant lobster. Who knows? Use dredging hooks and we can fish up pretty seashells, says Cinderella. You know, you're absolutely right. Some of the seashells that come up are really, really pretty. Ah! Not on me. Rude. <laughs> yeah, some of the seashells, I will agree, they, they are beautiful. They make beautiful decoration. That's the one thing I love to do 
And and Ultima Online never has a shortage of things you can do in the game, but I love to decorate. That is my favorite thing to do in the game is just decorate. So I have a ton of fun decorating stuff. That's what I love to do. And I, I'm amazed at how many times I find something or, you know, I'll, I'll walk past, you know, someone's house or something and I'll see something and it's like, oh my gosh, where did that come from? And I'll look at it and it's like, oh, no way. That's what that is. And it, it's just like, wow, that is a really unique way of, of doing it. Like some of the, 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 you know, the imagination that goes into creating some things he here in Ultima Online is absolutely stunning. I, I absolutely love seeing people's creations, you know, f you know, from uh, at their houses and stuff or, or what they can do. I love seeing that. Love seeing that. So, and I've, I, like I said, I've been to many of Shards, all of them. I've been to many of Shards and I've seen some amazing, amazing things. So by all means, please keep, keep doing that. Cause I, I do walk by every now and again, I do walk around the lands and I do see some of that stuff and I think it's amazing. And I mean, I would, I would totally, you know, like post pictures or, or stuff like that. But honest to goodness, I, I there's just so many neat things that I see. I mean, it would just be a never ending <laughs> folder of pictures of people's, you know, imaginations and stuff and the things that they've done. And it, it's, it would, it's just amazing. I highly recommend run around your shard, look at, look at the stuff that some people create, it's, it's great, it's amazing. Truly it is. And what's nice is nine times out of 10, if you ask a player, hey, I saw this, how did you do that? Nine times out of 10, they'll tell you, or they'll tell you who did it for them or what. They really will. Uh, that's the one thing I can say about our players. We have amazing players. We really, really do. And nine times out of 10, they will help you. And, and, you know, if they can't, they will direct you to someone who can. So, like I said, we have a great community. We really, really do. We have an amazing community. Still battling the giant lobster. Rawr. Let's see. We'll take a we'll watch the lobster. We'll watch the lobster. He is a giant lobster, I will say that. I don't think there's enough butter. Not for that lobster. I don't think there's enough butter. You'd need like a pool of butter. Just just a pool filled with butter. And this may be unpopular opinion, but I don't really care for lobster. I know. Like a lot of people are like, <gasps> I don't care for lobster. I don't. just not on those things. You know what I do love? I love scallops, though. I discovered that last summer. Love scallops. Scallops are amazing, but they have to be good scallops, and you have to cook them right. I learned that. That's the other thing that we have here in Ultima Online. As I saw the person going walking away, and they had the Japanese script, um, they were talking in um, uh, katakana, and I, I saw them walk by, and it was just 
that's another wonderful thing. I mean, we have so many people from all over the world that play this game, and it's. It, I think it's amazing to see, you know, all the different languages. I love it. I love it. I think it's wonderful. That lobster's hanging on, though. Wow. Could you imagine all the arrows you'd have to pull out of that lobster, though? Ugh. Maybe you wouldn't want to eat it. Maybe you wouldn't want to eat that lobster. Hmm. Then again, maybe it's just bouncing off his shell. You never know. Goodness, and a disgusting trash monster? Is that what it said? We've got a trash monster now? Oh dear. The trash has become sentient? Oh dear. That doesn't sound good at all. I'm telling you that that lobster is holding on. Goodness. Let me see if I can pull up this trash monster here. There we go. Well, it looks like everybody's got them pretty well down. There's another uh, just to the compass east. So have to take a look at that one after we're done here. Looks like that trash monster is about to go bye bye. And the lobster is not going to fall far behind. Oh, maybe not. Trash monster is not going down without a fight. There goes the trash monster. So we've got the mutated crab, and then we have um, something to the compass east. And we'll take a look at that as soon as this. Well, actually, we might be able to move over just a little smidge. There we go. Uh, let's see. I can't quite see what it is. It seems to be... With everybody on top of it, it's really hard to tell what everything is. So I'm just kind of waiting to see something pop up that, you know, that says, you know, um, blah, 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 looks ill or something. That'd be, I think, the easiest way, unless you know what it is. Do, do, do. 
I'm going to guess it might be a blue crab. Or it might have been a blue crab, maybe. It w if it would have been small enough, it could have been a blue crab over there. Oh, a fire steed. You don't see that often. I remember when those first came out, everybody had to have one. They were amazing. Everybody had to have one. I had to have one. I thought they were cool. I still have mine. I still have the very first one I tamed. Still love it, too. Still absolutely love it. Ooh. Okay. Lots of fire. Be careful of the fire. That trail of fire can still hurt you. That tells you what. Uh, er, wait, from where does the gate appear? You think they be challenging us? Okay, so there be a gate. And it's over by the water. And it's called Consequences. Oh, dear. Uh, be entering at your own peril. Okay. Just going to wait a moment for everybody to go in, and then we're going to jump in. And if, if we, lose con we lose connection, um, it'll be okay. Ready? We didn't. Snazzy. Love it. So here we are. Hello, Slay. Welcome. Okay, well, we're just going to kind of walk around a little bit. Uh, now, so we have a healer to the compass east. And we have a healer to the compass west. So if you need a healer east or west, that's where they are. Oh, everybody's killing the deer. Oh, dear. <laughs> Bad joke, I know. Forty five seconds left on the gate. So if you're not in the gate, you need to get in now, because otherwise you're gonna miss it. <laughs> Somebody's dog is named Wiley Coyote. I love it. That's hilarious. Okay. So we are just going to wait until uh, they come and, I guess, drop the big bad of the evening. Whatever that may be. And we're just going to kind of wait and see what's going on. So far, no word. So. Oh, there it is. It is a blue. That's a Colossus. <laughs> oh, I'm not reading that. I I'll, I'll put it up here for you to see, but I'm not reading that. 
That's gross. That's gross. <laughs> we'll say it's a rogue wave. We'll, we'll stick with that. Some people might be eating. <gasps> All right. So we have its bar up there as everybody kind of goes after it right now. Ooh, that's a lot of lightning. Be careful. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Now, we are experiencing a little bit of lag coming in. Um, you can see that it kind of, it kind of hit, like, hitches for a second. Kind of like does that little pause and then move and then pause and then move and then pause. And with so many people, like, uh, doing stuff, I mean, this is, I it's bound to happen. You know, all these people coming together to all do an action. It's not like everybody's just standing there. So, craziness, craziness, craziness. And we're just going to kind of, like I said, we're going to keep an eye on the bar at the top there. Uh, I'll move it a little bit down below so you can see it. I'll move it over my under my name there. So you can see it just a little bit better. Goodness gracious. You got this, guys. I believe in you. You all have got this. I know it. And it's down. How about that? You guys are amazing. Good job, everybody. Good job. You guys are winners. Yay. Okay. As soon as the gate pops up, we'll go in the gate, head on back. There's the gate. It says home. Look at that. We're home. I'm going to sit here. And we're going to wait for the EMs to return so that we can uh, listen to them. Oh, there's a crate there. Oh, that is tonight's crate. It says a crate of ale from the pirate party. Party like a pirate mateys has been carved into the crate's lid. Very nice. Love it. That is awesome. Woohoo! I love it. Oh, the original graphic is from the from the um cargo. These are from the cargo ships. Yeah, this is where you if you get the cargo crates you take them over to um, Buccaneer's Den, 
and you can exchange them for cool stuffs. Ye lubbards didst your best, I be full of sorrow that the party was disrupted. Aww. Next time, maybe. The pirates threw up too much. You know, <laughs> we should be petitioning the gubernatorial types to rein in the dump of trash and such in the sea. I would name be wanting to see them beasties try to snack on one of the coastal towns. That's a valid point. I be leaving the supplies out on the beaches for a spell you can visit at your will. Bows. That's very nice. Well, thank you, Calico. <laughs> but coastal towns are the number one source of calcium. For now, I be thinking I should be warning the fleets of the danger as if the pirates were nay bad enough. Hmm. Sometimes pirates get a bad rap. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. Thank you, mateys. Salutes formally. Yes, we definitely appreciate the party. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. And fire! <gasps> it's E.M. Morris and E.M. Mayhem. Yay! <laughs> Stares at the fox in the room. Oh dear. <laughs> I was well behaved. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry about the delay in starting my keyboard. Decided it was a good time to die. Oh, dear. How do we feel about a pet fox for Atlantic? <laughs> Indeed. You know what? Electronics. Do foxes eat ham cake? <laughs> um, you know what they say about elect electronics? They, you know, once they... Uh, if, if, how does it go? You know, if it can, anything and everything will and can go wrong. I think, oh gosh, I'm butchering it. I know I am. Uh, does she bite? I don't bite. I don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> for sure need to set out fox traps next time then <laughs> safety first <laughs> oh always a joy to come to atlantic always a joy <laughs> a likely story <laughs> uh-huh Uh, I, yes, I think I thoroughly enjoyed the party. I did. I thought it was fun. I had a good time. Oh, it looks like uh, other people did too. Wonderful. It's always good to see people having fun. That's important. <laughs> and the cake and the ham were kept far apart. Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like everybody had a good time. That's wonderful. Again, thank your EMs. 
They did a great job. The leg at the end was a bit surprising. You were split between two facets. Oh, that's interesting. It just goes to show that, you know what? It doesn't matter. I mean, you get enough people together, you're still going to have, you're still going to have problems. It's just the way it is sometimes. But we roll with it, right? We roll with it. We persevere. <laughs> it definitely needs some butter. Yes, like a swimming pool size amount of butter. <gasps> uh, don't you dare say ham cakes. Cognac. Don't you say ham cakes. Don't you say it. Whew. It's a bread. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. What did you think? I was going to say. <laughs> Thank you. It was fun. Have a good night. Yes, I, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> Give up. Let there be ham cake. Let there be chaos. <gasps> chaos and disorder. <laughs> You've doomed us all. <laughs> Anarchy. <laughs> Revels in the eternal glow of the mother hand cake, ham cake from on high. Goodness. Pickle pudding? Oh, gross. No. No. Ew, a great dipping sauce for ham cake? No. 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 Gross. 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 <laughs> so crumbly oh gross no 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 I relish the opportunity to un <sighs> goodness 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 <laughs> You know what? Next time I I come to Atlantic, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to have a ham cake made. <laughs> like a real ham cake. <laughs> Mara says, anyway, yes, we've kind of, uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Mara says, council meeting. Next Sunday, last Sunday of the month. Ham <laughs> says all the talk of ham cake. I'm beginning to feel ill. Yeah. 
Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Find your happy place, Mayhem. Indeed. Find your happy place where ham cake does not exist. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Again, poor Amaris is trying to keep everybody on track here. It is failing. Failing, my friend. Failing. <laughs> Imagine a deserted tropical isle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jokes aside, we'd like to thank Fenico for being tonight and putting up with our Fox jokes. Aw, it was my pleasure. I was happy to be here and I've had a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Oh dear. Helps if I actually type in the right place, doesn't it? Ah! you for having me. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> the fox says, thank you. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Guinevere, it, yes, indeed, it was my pleasure. Honestly, I had a lot of fun. Yet, yeah, no, 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 no. No, the fox does not say that. The fox does not say that. No. That's a hard no. 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 I will not. I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> no. The fox speaks many things all weird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't think the fox can smite us, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, and they're out. That was a blast. I had a lot of fun. And hopefully you did too. Uh, as always... I have a lot of fun at these EM events. If you do too, please come join us. Uh, you can check uo.com. You can check the event calendar there and find out when the next event that you would like to go to is uh, available. And uh, you can always check when your shard has an EM event as well. And uh, yeah, join that specific EM event or come to all of them or, you know, Oh, okay. I'll take a look at it. Okay. Okay, I'll take a look. Um, but yes, um, definitely, you know, check it out. Or, like I said, you can join me here doing the live streams. I will be here on uh, Saturday. Um, <laughs> shield your young eyes before you do. Joy. I will be here Saturday at 7 a.m. It's bright and early, 7 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time to stream the Oceania EM event. So hopefully you'll join me. If you can't, I totally understand. Check out the YouTube channel. Uh, there's been lots of videos going up there as well as, you know, the events after they get uh, posts, you know, streamed here. So I want to thank you so much for joining me tonight. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Uh, I hope you have a great day, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, stay safe out there because I know the weather is not too pleasant. And as always, be good to each other. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.